So you start up here, you roll down, you jump, and as soon as you hit that dirt, you accelerate and you hit the first jump and you're off. Welcome to Bentonville, Arkansas for the first IMBA Trail Lab. We're excited to have you here. We have a great program we've been for a while. We've got an awesome lineup of speakers, both local partners and experts from around uh, the country, both IMBA and other stakeholders here to really help you all see what it's all about to create that model mountain bike community and the recipe to make that happen. We would not be where we are from a tourism standpoint without IMBA's guidance. Welcome to the All-American Trail. Um, this is a really good example of an integrated paved greenway and a mountain bike opportunity right next to it. Bentonville is a great example of what you can do with the vision and the willpower to create a mountain bike destination where one didn't exist. We really weren't a destination for cycling, so a lot of things were happening and IMBA was that resource that I could call and find out what we needed to do, how we needed to do it, and the way we needed to do it sometimes. In Bentonville, they made a great place to ride bikes. People come here. Well, we can show that to people who don't ride that if they do this in their community, they'll be able to have the same thing. So we're here trying to learn about it. You know, as a community, you sort of know what trails are, but it's a relatively new thing to us. And we saw this as an opportunity to learn what you can use for mountain biking and also adapt it to other user groups. I'm trying to apply the trails that, are, that have been built in Bentonville, its connection to downtown Bentonville, and trying, I want to see if it's actually working. It's really, really incredible um, to have this amount of expertise in one spot. This is an example of a modular prefabricated concrete pump track. Emma's mission is to create, enhance, protect great mountain bike opportunities. We want to make sure that people have trails to ride where they live. Where we're standing right now, I believe, is the coolest trailhead in America. Um, because from this trailhead, um, you have access to at least 100 miles of, of trail. But it's because of the amount of growth and the popularity of our trails that lie within our city limit, it's become a tourism destination. And so because of that, it's an economic driver. It's adding not just a quality of life for our residents, but it's putting money into the businesses and the hotels and the restaurants um, that we have around our community. So we know there's evidence there to prove that we need to continue our investment in the cycling world. This can happen in, in any city and what's, what's interesting is, is you build it and they will come. This is laying the groundwork and giving me the, the really the tools necessary and the path that I need to follow to get what I want to get done. You know, our top three employers in our region have come to us and said they need help in recruiting and retaining younger people in our community. So these are the kind of features and amenities that young people are looking for and I think we can do that and help our employers. We're excited about economic development, a more healthy lifestyle, and I think really importantly the quality of life. It's a two-part thing. Even if you're just interested in quality of life and having good people move to your community, if you make it a tourism destination, that's how people discover your community. They go there on vacation and then they realize, man, I could live here. 